Welcome everybody, we're back here at the Quail Hill Vineyard today. I'm joined with uh, our winemaker, Pete Sorgel. We are gonna taste through these four wines that we're about to be releasing to our advocate members here in May. We have a, basically a very site-specific tasting today. We have our Adams Vineyard Chardonnay. This is gonna be from our 2017 vintage. We then have three 2018 Pinot Noirs. So we have the Susanna's Vineyard, we have the Old Vines block from the Quail Hill Vineyard behind me, and then we're gonna finish with the Kanzler Vineyard Pinot Noir. So please, Pete, start us off with the Adams Vineyard Chardonnay. Yeah, thanks, Drew. I'm really excited about these wines because each one has a really great sense of place. And so starting with our uh, 2017 Adams Vineyard, uh, this comes from our warmest estate property. Uh, and this Chardonnay is a blend of two clones, Old Wente and Montrachet. And what I really like about those two clones is the Montrachet adds great brightness and freshness to the wine, and the Old Wente adds great texture and volume. It's all barrel fermented, which I think really brings out uh, the texture and the volume and, and really helps uh, assist with the wine. You know, this is one of our youngest vineyards. It is one of our smallest Chardonnay producing sites. We're really seeing this wine get better every year simply based on the fact that we're learning to farm it better and learn how to make the wine better. So please, enjoy this. I'm gonna lead us off with the Susanna's Vineyard Pinot Noir. So, you guys, I'm gonna say that all three of these are my favorites, so just allow this. This is gonna be our Susanna's Vineyard, one of our kind of beautiful, red fruit driven, to me very satiny, very silky, just really, just luscious fruit. What do you think about this wine, Pete? Yeah, I love this wine, and I'm choosing different blocks at Susanna's Vineyard to craft this wine and have it be very uh, bright, fresh, approachable, and really kind of uh, showcase what the vineyard can do. You know, so we have the Adams Vineyard Chardonnay, we have the Susanna's Vineyard Pinot. These are both going to our explorers. However, we have these two other Pinot Noirs that are going to be going to our enthusiast level. So um, the Old Mines block is one of our most storied blocks. It's one of our most famous Pinot Noirs we produce. These wines were planted on Quail Hill Vineyard in 1974. They were planted to a swan selection. This is one of the most unique wines that we make, Pete. I think it's just special, it's got a great story, and you deliver on it every time. Well, you know, from a winemaking perspective, being able to work with vines that are this old is a real treat. You don't find vines that are planted in the mid 70s that much here in uh, West Sonoma County where we are. So it, uh, it's a really uh, special thing to be able to work with these vines. You know, to contrast both these coming from the warmer reaches, we then have this really cool climate Pinot Noir from the Kanzler Vineyard. Uh, family that we've been working with for several years. They have a great site, very, I don't know, spicy, very earthy driven wine. Uh, totally completes kind of the different sites, really just different aromas, personalities coming out of all these wines. So Pete, I'm tasting through these fantastic wines here. How long would you recommend cellaring these wines? You know, Drew, I would cellar these wines for, you know, up to seven to ten years from now. You know, I feel that they have great vibrancy and freshness and that, uh, you know, they will benefit from a little bit extended bottle age. Okay, that's great to know. Uh, fun, realistic fact, though, if you do get these wines and you're sheltering in place and you need to open them, I would definitely recommend opening them about 24 hours before you need to do so. Go ahead and pull the cork on it. You can put it maybe in a counter, maybe you can put it in the refrigerator. Come back to that wine the next day and you're gonna be enjoying it that much more. We'll have got a little oxygen interfacing with the wine. We'll kind of brighten up everything and just make it a little more appealing to you. Thanks everybody.